These chocolate cookies are a delight for all chocolate lovers, tender and chocolatey on the inside, irresistibly crispy on the outside. Their deep and round flavor will take you on a flavor journey like no other. Their heavenly tender crumb, their unexpected crispiness and the crunchiness of dark chocolate chunks on top make each bite of these cookies a moment of pure bliss. But before getting started, this video is also available in ASMR format. If you're interested, just click on the card appearing on the screen to be redirected to it. In a bowl, add 60 grams of almond flour, 120 grams of rice flour, and 110 grams of buckwheat flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder. Stir the ingredients until well combined. In a large bowl, add 80 grams of brown sugar, 90 grams of milk, 60 grams of coconut oil. Take 80 grams of dark chocolate chopped into chunks and, after melting it, pour it into the bowl with the wet ingredients. Stir until well combined. Add 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and whisk to incorporate. Now add the dry ingredients to the wet ones little by little and whisk until incorporated. When working the butter, try lifting it with a spatula. If it falls off the spatula into the bowl, it's too runny. That's not good. In this case, add a tablespoon of starch. This is the right consistency. When you lift the butter with the spatula, it won't fall. It will stick to the spatula. Take a baking tray and line it with parchment paper. Place the cookie dough on the parchment paper using an ice cream scoop, leaving enough space for the cookies to spread and puff up. Add the chocolate chunks or chips on top. If necessary, use the spatula to smooth the edges of the dough and achieve a rounded shape. Bake in preheated conventional oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 15-20 minutes. The baking time depends on your preferences and on your oven. I wanted my cookies to be crispier outside and I baked them for 20 minutes. Tip! Leave a couple of cookies without topping. When you see that the surface starts to visibly crack, it means the cookies are reaching a crispier texture. Allow the cookies to cool on the baking tray for 5 minutes, then transfer them to a wire rack and let them cool completely. If you want to replicate this recipe, please read the description box for more information on the ingredients, substitutions and baking instructions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it, take a look at my other videos and subscribe to my channel. Don't be shy, leave a comment and activate the notification bell to receive updates. Thanks for watching and until next time.